Hey everybody, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're checking out the Sybaris Prime Incarnan. New Incarnan weapon added to the game. It makes it a four round explosive burst. If you look in the bottom right, I have 200 ammo. And then if I take out this guy right here, this poor soul, it will go down. And you know, I still have a good chunk of ammo. The idea behind my build is just, it's supposed to be chaos. You just kill everyone in the match, pretty normal, right? It has ramp up because it has zero increased base damage out the gate. It has good status, it has good crit, and it could probably be better, but it is currently killing everything in game, no problem, right? These are level 200 heavy gunners, no issues whatsoever. If I swap on, let's say, yeah, you know what? Let's throw on some murmurs, see how they survive the shots. Still have 80 shots left, right? So still, it does a high amount of damage, as you can see. And it does good amount of status spread overall. Oh yeah, those guys. Since it shoots so fast, you're really good to just let loose like this. And then I have a really fast shooting base Sybaris, so it's a little aggressive there. Because you do have to still hit your headshots in order to ramp it up. And then you can shoot down the enemies. It's really no problem there. And since it has blast on its incarnate form, you do hit little AoE blast shots there. So that is how the new Sybaris Incarnin works. It's a very good gun overall, and you shouldn't really have any issues killing any enemies whatsoever in Steel Path. Like you can throw on any general build, as long as it's good enough, you're gonna you're gonna do fine. Like look at all this sentience. No chance. I've seen people take this to like level 9999 pretty easily with uh, good Warframes and everything, a proper set. I don't see why you couldn't, but a lot of people really like the new Incarnans, and it does make sense. I, I don't know where Sentients have faces, so I can't actually make that back in Incarnan mode. Either way, ignore, ignore. So let's go over quickly the build and then take it to an actual open mission steel path to see how it actually performs and talk about the build and Incarnan mode. First off, Headshots charges it, pretty normal, alt fire to change it. It fires a four round burst that gains blast status. So if you look at the base stats that I've modded on here, it has 105 crit, 404, or 4.4 crit multi, and 84 status with 512 total damage, right? All of my base damage building is on my arcane, primary, merciless, normal stuff there, pretty boring though. It has a four round burst and it goes from two rounds to four rounds, 200 max ammo, Pretty good multi-shot and fire rate, but crit goes down, crit damage goes up, status goes up, and the damage goes up a little bit as well, transferring over to Incarnate form. The first evolution, you can choose between increased damage, damage. This one, on firing, you get more multi-shot. This one, increased base damage on consecutive headshots. I feel like it's too easy to miss headshots, so I don't tend to take that one. Up to you, though. This next one is either minus weapon recoil, on reload from empty, increase reload speed, and then increase base magazine capacity by 12. I think any one of these is fine. I chose weapon recoil because that's the only one that's going to affect incarnate mode, and it should make it easier to hit things. And lastly, we have survivor's edge, which is base crit chance five, base status chance 10. The reason I chose this one is because this one is on full burst, hit 20% damage, resets on reload, and this one is increased base status chance by 5% effects double in Incarnate form. So I don't know if it's bugged or if they forgot to make these good, because why, who cares about 20% damage on a full burst hit? Like, what? Who cares about five status chance 10 in Incarnate form when you give us 10 status chance right here. So this has to get hot fixed. There's no chance they meant to do this or if someone at DE is hitting the vodka a little too hard because in what world would you choose these two when this one exists? So they probably meant to like double the numbers on these at least or something because they're really dog right now. So you definitely want to take Survivor's Edge. I don't know if it's bugged or if they just forgot to add good numbers to it and forgot what like damage is or, and status or they don't know how addition works. I don't know. Someone just goofed up and they definitely weren't paying attention to this in Karnan, So some of the Incarnans are obviously a little rushed and it's a little sad when you see shit like that. You're like, oh, so they just, 
They, they just totally forgot the highest tier of evolution on the Sybaris. They forgot to make it good. Okay. Uh, so that's the generals of the incarnate form. Very simple stuff. This is what I currently have on for my build. Judge it as you will. You can always throw on whatever statuses you feel like. I'm just going with a viral slash setup right now. I have galvanized aptitude for status and some more damage as well as galvanized chamber. I build all my flat damage on galvanized aptitude and then obviously primary merciless. So you do need to get kills. And then once you get kills, your damage ramps up a lot better. So out the gate, this thing's gonna be weak. Depending on how you feel like building, I like this build but you can always swap out whatever you feel like, right? You can throw on hammer shot, you can take off hunter munitions, right? Swap things around, swap out different statuses. You can use hammer shot, you can straight up use serration over hunter munition if you feel like. I don't ever use galvanized scope, but maybe you like using galvanized scope, so you could do that. In, uh, yeah, probably instead of something like Aptitude, just use a different mod there. You can throw on, instead of Vial Acceleration, maybe you're more of a Prime Tread person. Prime Tread does have Punch Through, so it is really good. It's just like, I'd rather just shoot faster because I'm dealing with a Blast weapon. And it doesn't show that it has Blast here. It just emits Blast effect, okay? So you don't have any Blast damage here. It just it just gets Blast damage when it incarnates. And it just, it doesn't show it on this menu right here. So this is the build I'm going with. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your type of build is. For the Exilus mod, I would probably just throw on quickly the Vigilani supplies because I'm pretty lazy like that. I don't really care about the accuracy one. Primed rifle ammo mutations not really needed. I'm a pretty lazy builder in that regard. Everything just melts in Warframe, so Vigilani supplies is usually nice. Get that little extra bit of crit chance and everything. But yeah, you can swap out whatever you feel like. So always keep that in mind. That's just the build I like using for now. It'll take out higher level enemies a little better with the ramping up in the scaling of Viral Slash than some other stuff. So it ends up working out for me. Let me spawn the Grenier right here and absolutely slaughter them and then we'll go to a regular match. Cause like even the base gun, oh, oh, they're hitting each other with AOE or my pet did. Even the base gun, it does good damage, right? You're gonna kill enemies really quickly and you're gonna take them out with only a handful of headshot shots. So you emit a ton of multi-shot because you also build up on firing a ton of multi-shot because every time you reload, the multi-shot uh, bonus goes away. But when you start firing, it maxes out to 50% multi-shot and then you just start killing everything, right? Like no problem, one shot, easy. And that's not even letting the statuses ramp up the idea of AoE absolutely kills with this weapon. So if you choose something like a Vobin or a uh, Zephyr or anything that has any sort of pull, okay, you're gonna destroy all of the enemies. So you can legitimately, I'm not a huge Vobin player, okay, I don't have a good Vobin build. It's just a quick little AoE build. But you can always just do this. You can always just do this. And once you ramp up the gun, oh no. I need to actually hit someone in the head. This was my mistake. I've made the critical error. There we go. Once you actually build it up, you can just start blasting everyone in there. I made the critical error of uh, not actually remembering to shoot heads before and ramping this up. But you can see it's not actually that bad. Even with the base gun, just in the little AOE of the area, you'll pull a lot in and then they'll all end up getting killed. So as long as you have AOE, and as long as you're building the weapon for some damage, you're going to be good. Like, this is a strong weapon. You're going to have zero issues. It ramps so well. And with blasts like that, it just clears through everybody. Uh, I love it. It's a cool weapon. And now I just need to get to use it more. So let's go run quickly over to Void Mott. We'll mess around with the gun on Steel Path so that I can show you why it's so good right now, okay? Exactly why is the gun so good? I am going to go with Wisp. I just want to choose a Warframe that can show off increased ability weapon damage as well, if I need to, and just uh, one that won't die easily, because Wisp is essentially immortal as long as you spam your second ability, and it has such a low cost that 
Wisp has a built-in rolling guard with her second ability, so she's pretty godly in that regard. She's invincible, she gives good buffs. Ah, oh, what, a, what a good frame. I'm just going to swap only to Haste Reservoir, just so that the enemies can run at me faster. Usually I would not use Haste Reservoir. Usually I would use the, just like, uh, Fused Reservoir, because I don't usually care about enemies stopping that much. But you'll see, like, you can just ramp up and just hide in a corner like this, especially with Wisp. You'll get a lot of headshot damage in. Then you just sit back, and you're actually just killing everything. Like, no chance the enemies thought they'd survive, right? It's great. So that's essentially the weapon. You just ramp up, kill everything, and then you go along with your merry way. God, it's such a cool gun right now. Warframe's adding so many uh, new incarnates to the game now that the amount of damage you're going to be outputting is absolutely insane. And then you can just mess around there. Like, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I think I still have Rolling Guard on my Wisp just in case. I'm just a careful man like that. So it'll shoot fast, especially with the uh, speed buff from Wisp, right? You'll shoot fast, you'll get a lot of headshot kills, and you'll ramp it up really quickly. It's sometimes, again, it's sometimes a little annoying to hit headshots, so you just want to, like, stand back, and I just shoot to where the enemy's heads would be. Right, like that. And then usually enough bullets end up hitting that you're good to go. If you want a better kill zone, you can always go and hide in a small room. Right? Same idea with, like, Komei, right? You go into a small area, and you just shoot them with all of the blast. And no one's surviving, so there's zero chance anyone gets past this, essentially. Choke points in Warframe are still OP. You don't need them, but you can always build and play the game around choke points. Because it's so hard for enemies to get past any of these. Like, damn near impossible. And then you just chill. You go like that, you go boop, and everyone's dead. Uh, it's a lovely weapon. Either way, that is right now the... Oh, yeah, I guess that doesn't really work that way. This is the Sybaris Prime. Love it, hate it. Sybaris Prime Incarnan. Let me know. I plan to use it for a while here and there, but, you know, the game has so many insane strong weapons that we're at a point where <laughs> Warframes are essentially uh, shredders and the enemies are paper, so... Let me know what you think, everyone. Let me know what sort of Prime Incarnan, non-Prime Incarnan, etc. you chose this round. I also have the Okina Incarnan Prime. Maybe a video on that in a couple of days, as I do have to mess around with it, build it, etc. But more importantly, I actually have to build it, because I need to farm a lot of dewberries. So let me know what you think, everyone. Cheers.